My beloved child, I am speaking to you today with love and purpose. I see your heart, your struggles, and your faith. I have been with you through every trial and triumph, and I am here now to offer you encouragement and strength. Like this video, if you believe in God. In this moment, it is not mere chance that these words reach you. My Holy Spirit surrounds you, fortifying your life. You have sensed a desire for me to communicate with you, and now is the perfect moment to reveal my love and guidance. I have been preparing you, and today you have opened your heart to my voice. I know your supplications, your worries, and your fears. Trust in me, for I am with you, and I hear every prayer. From the moment you first cried out to me, I have been working on your behalf. You are precious and unique, and I am fighting for your future. The recent turmoil you face is not accidental. Be vigilant and wise. Guard your words and keep your secrets close. The enemy seeks to consume you, but I am here to protect you. I am your refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. Type Amen if you agree. Your future is destined to be filled with marvels and wonders. Though you may encounter hardships for a season, remember that your struggles are transient. Soon, your grief will fade away, and those who have wronged you will come seeking your forgiveness. Place your faith and trust in me alone, for no one can bless and protect you as I can. Anchor your faith in my eternal powerful word, which is alive, effective, and unshakably true. Choose my love, my comfort, my refuge, and my embrace. Commit to seeking me each morning, to listen and be filled with my word that lights your path and gives you purpose. Come to me without hesitation. I long to hear from you, regardless of your state or feelings. My doors are always open, my ears always listening. Speak to me. For your words reflect your innermost thoughts, and knowing you hold me in your thoughts is a tender praise, a pure worship. Type 999 if you believe in Jesus. Share with me your aspirations, your needs, your challenges, and your uncertainties. Confide in me everything, for I am your confidant, the only one who truly understands and knows you. The winds of adversity have battered you, but you will find peace in my word. I will fill your heart with strength amidst afflictions. When you feel weak, you shall be strong, and when you falter, you shall not fear. Cling to my promise, and when your burden feels unbearable, come to me. Never forget that I am always with you. Do not allow doubt to rob you of the blessings you will encounter on your journey. I bless you because I love you, and I have decided to do so. I bestow upon you favor and mercy because you are valuable to me. Today is a special day, a day of victory that you will never forget. I have sealed these promises with my own blood. You will be happy, and I will grant you eternal life. There shall be no more weeping or pain in my presence. Open your eyes, for the problems you face will vanish. The assistance you await is coming, and the provisions you need shall be provided. I love you, and today it is confirmed. Tell me that you love me. Tell me that you believe. I understand your concern because I know that many times it seems like nothing is going as expected and you feel frustrated. Be at ease, for I will help you with everything that matters to you. I will show you my great power in your life and transform the things that have gone wrong into something good and meaningful. Type 1010. If you love, love Jesus. Lord, you are very important and valuable to me. I will never allow you to be involved in situations that could jeopardize your life. Pay attention to the signs I send you, and do not venture down paths I have not directed you toward. I know and see many things that you cannot perceive, 
and sometimes you cannot fathom the dangers I have protected you from. Believe me, not everyone seeks your friendship with sincerity. Do not be distressed by false friends who get upset over the slightest things and depart from your life. Do not doubt that your prayers are being heard. I am truly listening to you and delivering you from these situations. Breathe deeply while I bring forth tranquility and solace to your heart. I have not relinquished my grasp upon you, nor have I distanced myself or abandoned you. I have fulfilled the promises I made to you, remaining steadfast in my commitment. Now it is your turn. Have faith, place your complete trust in me, summon your courage and lift your head. You must emerge from this melancholy immediately. I'm here to aid you, tending to your soul and mending all those wounds. Please acknowledge that throughout your most arduous struggles, I have never forsaken you. Cease pondering that my love for you is being withheld, for that will never come to pass. I understand that your battles are profound, yet I continue to adore you and will continue to guide you by the hand. I heard you express your waning patience and your feeling of helplessness. You claim to be unable to find the way out. Allow me to tell you this. Perhaps you are seeking in the wrong place. For the door before you has always been present. I am your path, your hope, your door, your truth, the path upon which you must tread, your future, and your life. Type 2. 2-2 two, two, if you want blessings in your life. If in the midst of all your troubles, you choose to believe and turn to me, you will emerge from your problems in my time and as I see fit. But have unwavering confidence that I will lead you by the hand to the exit. If your patience has indeed worn thin and you grow weary of waiting, I will bolster your patience, your strength, and endow you with my peace. Do not give up now, for you are on the verge of attaining the level and place you have long dreamt of. It is imperative that you begin to wholeheartedly believe and understand that you can find all the assistance you require in me. Refrain from making rash decisions or jeopardizing what you have already gained. Things can turn if you venture down the wrong path. You are not in a competition, nor must you prove anything to anyone. You have already demonstrated your faith to me, therefore simply continue to walk with firm and steady steps, slowly but wisely. In this manner, you will reach the realm of your blessings and prosperity. When you set foot in that promised land, you will recollect these words. A time of great blessings awaits you and your family. You have maintained your faith. You remain steadfast. I am prepared to bless you. You are ready to receive all that I have prepared for you. I also desire that your trying times be left behind, that you rid yourself of the sense of failure. Allow me to declare something to you. None of my sons and daughters are failures, nor shall they ever be. I love them, I care for them, I prepare them, and I correct them. If they stumble, they rise. If they err, they confess, and I forgive them with patience and love. Type 11, 11, to show your love to God. They stand tall, shake off the dust, and move forward with faith in my word and their gaze fixed on the goal. My daughters and sons make mistakes, but they possess the humility and capability to receive my forgiveness for their shortcomings and cast aside all feelings of defeat and guilt. You have never been a failure. The enemy knows how you feel and has exploited it to steal and hurt you. But everything that was stolen from you will be returned. I want you to become accustomed to living a life of emotional freedom, ceasing to blame yourself for past matters or denying yourself the opportunity to succeed. I wish for you to continue growing in your faith and to learn to depend more on me. 
I will instruct you to do things that may seem impossible to you. Understand this, my dear child. I have chosen you to be a conveyor of blessings for all whom you love. Therefore, you cannot remain as you are. You must rise, overcoming all self-imposed limitations and simply accepting that you are my child. The struggles you faced in the past conditioned you to live in emotional poverty, burdened by unfounded fears, your spirits crushed by erroneous thoughts. It was a painful process, but you learned valuable lessons. Type Jesus as Lord. Today you know how to make wise decisions and choose good friendships. You are on the right path within my will, ready to succeed, prepared to enter a new supernatural stage of mighty miracles. The blessings that are coming will fill you with faith, strength, and joy. Receive them without doubt, they are yours. I will pour forth so many blessings upon your life that you will weep, but with tears of joy. Type 777. If you want blessings in your life, do not despair. I am listening to you, protecting you and assisting you. I am the one who heals and delivers you, who rescues and prospers you. Seek me with all your heart and do not forget the miracles I have in store for you. Now is the time to be vigilant, to listen to me, and to partake of my word. You feel that my spirit is touching you, that the time for change in your life has arrived. Say enough to anger and bad company. Today is the day for you to fully immerse yourself in the river of my love. When I speak to you with tenderness, do not ignore my words. When I call out to you gently, do not be deaf to my voice. When I offer you firm guidance, it is in those moments that you should embrace my loving care the most. I will rescue you from the adversary's grasp, freeing your heart from regret and all forms of ruin. I fulfill the requests you bring to me in faith each day. I eagerly await your presence every morning. I take joy in how you talk with me, in the confidence echoing in your words, for you truly feel, know, and trust that I will answer you. I'm attentive to your needs and will never abandon you. When weariness overwhelms you, I will be there beside you. You can rest your tired head on my shoulder and talk to me, for I am your confidant. I do not judge you, and your secrets do not provoke my wrath. Keep my words in your heart always. Recite them. The future is filled with numerous possibilities, and only those who look ahead with resolve and a desire to triumph, who continue in faith, will prevail. In my perfect timing, victory will be yours. The door to reconciliation is wide open for you. Walk your path with forgiveness, and those who once hurt and mocked you will come to respect and return to you. They will realize that I am with you and will always be. You are destined to be a leader in your community, offering help to many. Believe in this, prepare yourself, and have no fear, for you will lack nothing. Prosperity will come to you, and you will manage it wisely growing it with humility. When you kneel in prayer, give thanks for all the blessings you are yet to receive. Even if some have not arrived, show your gratitude for them. Pray with joy and faith, for your prayers hold power and are heard in my celestial throne. The words that escape your lips are like swords, vanquishing despondency, doubt, sadness, and all thoughts of defeat and negativity. Pray aloud, continue to give thanks, raise your arms in praise. You are engaged in a spiritual battle, and all negative sentiments shall depart from your home, never to return. Type 666 if you believe in God. Today you shall witness how an aura of tranquility envelops your abode. Open your doors and windows, Fear not, for no harm shall enter. My angels encamp around your family, 
ready to defend against any spiritual assault. Learn this truth. You are not a product of chance. I chose you and scripted the story of your life before creating the universe. I looked upon you with love before your birth, bestowing upon you an unyielding character and the resilience of a victor. Your suffering has made you stronger than many around you. To be defeated, because your victory is my victory. When you make your dreams come true, you are fulfilling my will. For I have divine and wonderful plans for your life. Life may have struck you with many blows, and the enemy tried to bring you down in every possible way, placing people in your path to discourage you, people who humiliated you, mocked you, and doubted your faith. Do not fret, for no person or situation has control over you, as I am here to protect, heal, and strengthen you with my loving embrace. My powerful hand will reach into your life, healing every hurt and sad memory in your heart. Despite trials and the adversary's efforts to create turmoil in your family, your workplace, and your home, you have stood firm, refusing to give in. I understand the complexity and the immense challenges of these situations, which often cause wounds, disturb your emotions, weaken your thoughts, and diminish your once strong resolve. Therefore, I am here to repair everything that is broken in your life. Type God is love if you believe in his unconditional love. Continue on your path, stay determined and upright, for the adversary has tried hard to stop you. Your perseverance continues because my grace sustains you. Everything you're enduring, everything you faced, is not the final chapter of your story, my child. You will not lose this battle. When others see your situation as the end, I will intervene with my powerful hand and my angels to proclaim, Arise, for your prayers have been answered. Your life is about to transform. Be aware that many doubt even when they see my presence daily. But you are not one of them. My word alone is enough to heal you, and the supernatural power from my words is sufficient to give you life and lift you up. You might feel unworthy of my presence in your home, but now I assure you that your faith and humility have drawn my attention. I seek to enter not just your home, but your heart as well. There, I will write words of healing, break the chains binding you with a touch of my hand and ease your suffering all your fears worries and pains will vanish for even the heavens obey my voice i speak to you directly because i long to see your joy inner peace and the knowledge in your soul that a future and a new life await you when you spend time with me you afford me the opportunity to embrace you and convey the depth of my profound love and protection from malevolent forces. This is the inheritance I have prepared for you, my beloved child. I seek to bestow upon you today. I implore you to believe in me wholeheartedly and to receive it. Comment faith over fear if you trust God to overcome your anxieties. Your strength is prepared and ready for you to dawn the healing and transformative anointment of my Holy Spirit, which is now at your disposal. You must not continue to walk in the shackles of painful thoughts, nor should you believe that you deserve the dire consequences your sins have wrought upon you. Though you dwell in a realm of affliction, it is a vanquished world. You are the son or daughter of the Almighty God who has made you a promise. Trust and have faith in me at every step, and you shall overcome this world and its tribulations. I observe that you spend hours in tears, often without comprehending the root cause of your suffering. Allow me to reveal that it is a deep yearning to return to me that plagues your heart. Your spirit longs for me, and your entire being knows that apart from me, 
you can do nothing. It may appear as though life is slipping through your fingers and you have yet to experience the peace and happiness you have yearned for. Your loved ones grow more distant each day. However, pay heed, for I stand before you beside a fountain from which flows the waters of blessing, quenching your life and your thirst, eradicating every sorrow. Partake of this water, let it anoint your head, cleanse those melancholic thoughts, and you shall never thirst again. I promise you this. Your faith has yielded results, my word suffices. Today, I have healed you. You opened the door, and I entered your home. I shall remain, watching over and blessing your family. I shall also bless you beyond your imagination, performing the miracles you deemed impossible, restoring your happiness. I shall continue to arrange the pieces, fulfilling the promises of my word. Type, grace upon grace, if you've experienced God's endless grace. Listen to my serene voice, for it speaks directly to your soul. Entrust me with the burdens you bear. Lay your sorrows here and confide in me your troubles. With each word uttered in prayer, I shall grant you the strength and solutions to your problems. Do not let fear fill your soul. Trust that when you kneel in prayer and offer your supplications, they soar like doves and reach my heavenly throne. If doubt ever whispers that your prayers are in vain, that I have forsaken you, and that no one is listening, do not heed it. How could I abandon you? I made you a promise never to forsake you. I repeat it now. Even if the whole world should abandon you, if your family departs, if your friends reject you, and if all whom you love forget you, I shall not. I shall remain here, as I always am, attentive to your needs. While you read these words, may they envelop you with tranquility, dispelling the solitude. My affection surrounds you, caressing your soul with grace. I hold you in higher esteem than you can fathom, safeguarding your steps as you traverse this path, shielding you from hidden perils. You move me deeply because, despite the adversities you have faced, you remain steadfast. I admire your unwavering faith. You have strived earnestly, and I know it well. I witness your concerns and observe how your first thought is to aid those you love, even when gratitude eludes you. Type, pray more, worry less, if you believe in the power of prayer. You shall find greater peace if you come to me at this very moment and rest your weary head upon my shoulder. Take a breath and remember that even when others falter or abandon you, you shall find entry into my love peace, strength, and sanctuary. For I adore you, care for you, and shall continue to fortify you in moments of sorrow. When your mind is shaken by life's storms, you shall hear the gentle song of my Holy Spirit soothing your soul, reminding you once more of how deeply I love you. I shall turn everything in your favor, for I am with you. Seek me out. You must pray and remain vigilant to wage the battle against the adversary who opposes you, receiving all that I desire to bestow upon you. But who is mightier? Tell me with your lips, write it with your fingers, contemplate it with your mind, and believe it with your heart. Who possesses the power and the will to aid you? I can. I want to. I shall for I have shown you mercy. I discern your thoughts. I know you possess a noble heart. These trials you endure are but part of your journey and your training. Beyond this affliction, you shall find happiness and abundant provision. Do not fear. Do not be disheartened. Do not discard all you have gained. A momentary distraction may attempt to bring you down. Thus, I implore you to ignite that flame within your soul, the flame that shall keep you awake 
even when you seek rest. Dedicate a moment to me. I wish to converse with you, to unveil wonders that shall fortify both you and your family. Have unwavering faith and relay this message to your loved ones. Gather your family, join hands, seek forgiveness, and together offer a sincere prayer unto me. Afterward, convey everything I have spoken to you, everything I shall do within you. Do it if you dare to believe, and you shall witness how I shall bless you. Type strength and faith if your belief gives you strength. Wherever two or three are gathered in my name, there I am. If you desire a genuine embrace, come to me now. I long to hold you and reveal my unwavering commitment to follow you. I know you need me. Your thoughts and your needs cannot be concealed. With me, you shall achieve everything. When separated from me, your flame shall diminish. I hear you and I shall respond. I desire to help you escape scarcity and conquer illness. I love you, and I shall reaffirm it throughout the day and in your dreams. Right here, while your heart feasts on my words, your spirit plunges into crystal clear waters that cleanse your soul. Every morning when you awaken, my glory envelops you, sustains you, clothes you, prepares you for battle, embraces you tenderly, instills faith and security within you. Fill your mind with holy words that shall strengthen you on your journey. You anticipate a miracle today. I can grant it to you. Tell me now that you believe. Let me see a mighty smile on your face, your eyes filled with faith, your courageous attitude brimming with strength and power. Type Amen if you agree. Like this video if you believe in God. Subscribe this channel for more videos.